emotional was this weekend for you? Uh, it was definitely emotional. Um, you know, it's uh, always hard playing some friends out there. And, um, you know, one of them I actually lived with, uh, Justin Miziak. So definitely an emotional weekend, um, emotional week. But at the end of the day, once the puck drops, it's just another team. And um, just got to do the things that you got to do to get the win. And um, no, it, it, was, it was more fun than emotional just to be out there with those guys. You know, I have some great relationship with, the, with those guys. Hey, Gavin, we asked the coach about uh, if there was some kind of a great speech between the first and second period. You guys played so well being down two to one coming out in the second period and you outshot them 20 to six. They had four penalties just in the second period alone, but you guys seemed like you came into the second period like men on a mission there. Yeah, I mean, you know, we just kind of had to regroup. Um, you know, that last game was an emotional game, or the first game was an emotional game too. So, you know, um, we just had to regroup. We're a good team and and that, we know that. And so we just talked about, you know, playing the restart button and playing our way. And that's what we did. We came in hard on the four check. And, you know, um, you know, when we did play the way we can play, I, I honestly think we could play with anybody in the nation. And, um, so, yeah, it just came down to coming back and regrouping and playing the way we know how to play. With the pandemic this year, it's been kind of a welcome sight to see the BG hasn't ran into too many issues. Knock on wood, hopefully that continues. What are you guys doing that you think other programs maybe aren't doing as well to keep your size, keep your guys safe? Well, we're just we're staying, you know, as a group. You know, we're not really expanding, and um, you know, our coaches and our staff, and um, you know, ha like hats off to Dan Fisher. That guy has been uh, a workhorse for us, and he's kept us in check and. Um, yeah, like I, I can't, you know, that guy has done everything and anything for us. So, you know, it really, uh, it, it comes down to, um, you got guys being responsible and understanding that we're here to play hockey and that's what we want to do. But, um, fish has been, uh, our rock for that. And then now that this weekend is over, how much are you looking forward to a pretty big matchup next week with, uh, Mankato? Oh yeah, no. We're well. We're always looking for forward to every weekend, but um, you know, to play a team of that caliber and challenge us, uh, we're always up for the challenge. And you know, um, yeah, the guys are excited. You know, this weekend was great. We're gonna enjoy it for a little bit here, and and then we're gonna reset and get ready for that weekend. Yeah, and real quick, you've got a lot of experience. Uh, obviously, what do you think it is that makes this team so special? You know, uh, just everyone buys in. You know, uh, when it, like just like in that um, first intermission, you know, we didn't have, you know, we're coming down two one, and we know what we had to do, and everyone buys in. Um, we we have such good leadership and just a core, like all the way through from top to bottom. Guys are doing their jobs, and you know, we're fast, we're strong, and you know, we play the right way. Like when we're playing the right way, um, you know, we, we we just run, we run well, and uh, uh, everyone buys in. I think that's the biggest thing.